Welcome to my quiet Daisy life. This is our survivor. Her name is Daisy. In this series, we intend to live a quiet life among the killers. We seek to stay alive under the radar, hunting, gathering, building, all while having to constantly watch out for other survivors and threats. You are a huge part of this series. We will have topics of conversation each episode, and as each episode ends, I will read your comments. I hope to live a long and quiet Daisy life and get to know you all very well. What is good, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of this new series called My Quiet Daisy Life. This is our survivor. Her name is Daisy. You know, like the flower? We've had a lot of adventures with her, as you can tell. I'll link those below. But today we start a new series, and I hope it lasts a very long time. We're going to drop everything. We're going to start fresh. Rather than having her die and respawn, she's such a loved character, I'm going to do something crazy. We're going to drop everything and start fresh that way. And hope nobody stumbles upon this. Maybe we keep her jacket to keep her warm or something. Or the fanny pack. How about that? That's kind of funny. And the goal of this series is to live a long, quiet, daisy life. Survive. Live under the radar. It's going to be highly interactive with you. I'm going to need you guys to... uh, Talk it up with me, keep me company, you know, that sort of thing. I think I'm actually going to take the wellies. Uh, Take the wellies. We're going to have a lot of um, chat and interaction. I'm going to ask you questions, life questions, fun questions. You can answer in the comments and at the end of each episode. At the end of each episode, I'll read out your comments. So whatever you guys put, as long as you get it in by, uh, you know, a reasonable time, I will read it in the next episode. All right, I guess this is a fair start right here. We're going to start her off. Oh, she's cold. We're going to start her off with a fanny pack and an armband and um, some cat food and wellies. I don't know where I am. And I don't know where I'm going to go. But I hope this series lasts a long time. Each episode will count as a day. Like I said, it's going to be interactive. There's going to be times where it's quiet. I hope just to live a quiet, daisy life under the radar. Hunting, cooking, building, existing, avoiding other human beings. You know, all the stuff we love doing in real life. Except it's in the apocalypse. I'll give, um, what do they call them, Easter eggs or breadcrumbs as to what server I'm on. So those of you who are faithful to watch will figure it out and can join the server. You may not be able to find me. You might find me. I don't think I'm going to party up with people, but in-game chat, if you ask me on Discord, I'll tell you. Discord linked below what server I'm on. Hopefully you don't sabotage me. But if you do, you do. That hasn't been the case in my years on YouTube, though. People have been pretty, pretty cool. So, um, while I find where I am and get to this first town, because we better get some clothes or we're going to get the sniffles. I'm following these power lines. they got to take me somewhere. Why don't we get that first kind of community conversation going in the comments? What is or was your first gaming console and game that you fell in love with? Tell me about it in the comments. I was born in 1981 and uh, I grew up fairly poor when we were a kid, when we were kids. Before uh, I was born, my parents actually lived in a cabin with no running water and no electricity in upstate New York, eating hot dogs. And then when I was about to be born, they thought, hey, we better get something a little better than this, and um, moved into a tiny and attic conversion antique store. I couldn't have phrased that any, any worse. It was the attic of an antique store that they'd converted. So as a little kid going through this antique store and up these weird stairs into our apartment was normal, but it's kind of a weird way. And then as I grew up, they made more money and and did decently. But I say all that to say, there we go. Oh, okay, I know where we are. Uh, Outskirts of Electro, right? I say all that to say, the greatest thing I played with growing up was homemade Play-Doh as a little kid because my mom could make it. And one day my 
Dad came home and said, hey, we got you guys something today, me and my brother. Like, oh, awesome, what is it? Thought maybe it was like cream soda or root beer or something. No, it's better than that. And I was like, well, oh, that's a good find right there. Oh, well, let's do this right straight away. We are on an official public Daisy server. I chose one that's low pop, though, but uh, you never know. Anyway, he said, um, no, it's better than cream soda. I was like, oh, dang, it's pretty good. So, is it Play-Doh? Like, it's better than Play-Doh. And I was just floored at that point because I couldn't imagine anything better than Play-Doh. And then he took out this box he had gotten at a yard sale with uh, an Atari in it. We played this little game. It's like an air... I don't even know the name of it. If you know, let me know. I, it's a little game... You're an airplane, and um, you know it has like little triangular-shaped bricks coming down from the top and the bottom. You got to navigate through it. I want to say after that we got a Space Invaders type thing, but I can't remember. I only remember that game. That was the first console I had. And let me tell you what, it was better than Play-Doh. I can't even put this. In, I can't even put this away. Oh my goodness! I don't even have the pockets. I don't even... I'm glad we dropped everything. I considered keeping the vest, the ballistic vest, or the NVGs. But then I thought, no, you know what? It would be... This. I hope this lasts through New Year's of 2023 and all the way to New Year of 2024. So I'm telling you now, if I see other survivors, I'm probably running. Unless you guys catch wind of this and get on the server and kind of find me and happen to get on at the same time I'm on kind of thing then maybe, maybe a meetup. But I want this to be pretty organic. We have other series for that, for like meeting up. And I think I got to drop this. Uh, oh, here, let's wear that. That's something. Hey, I thought it was pink. Was that not pink when it was on the ground? All right. Our girl Daisy is looking good. Oh, dang, there's a lot of zombies, man. A lot of zombies. This is fun. I've been looking forward to starting this for a while, I'll be honest. My quiet daisy life. Ooh, ooh. Nasty McBlasty. Still don't want to get in fights, though. I think I want to save the blade. For uh, chickens and such. Oh, that guy's going to see me. He looks pretty mean with his bicycle helmet and all. I'm glad I dropped everything. Except the armband and the hip pouch. I think there's a zombie in this house. I saw him. No. No, I didn't. Capri pants. Low insulation. 20 pockets. I think I'm just going to keep what I got. I might um, get some rags going, though. And get my hands covered so I don't get sick. Oh, new, look at those sounds since the update. And the blade's already going to crap. Hand wrappings, yeah. So we're not going to be in a hurry in this series, guys. And I look forward to reading your comments. I, I'm going to hope to find a quiet spot at the end and just read through your comments and develop kind of some rapport and a friendship along the way. PvP is your thing. The few times that it happens in this series, it's probably going to be an adrenaline dump. And if she dies, I don't know what will happen. It'll probably be the end of the series. If you want more action, my Daisy Therapy is on server LA4293. That series I'll link at the end of this. At when we come across survivors all the time and we have fun. I don't just shoot them straight away. Usually I try to talk to them, but sometimes it goes poorly. The talking. Yes, yeah, so let me know what your first memory with um, a gaming console and or game is. Nice. Ooh, and some biteys. Dude, I'm liking this look. This is quite an apocalypse look right here. And don't call them biteys. That's It just doesn't sound good. It's just... I don't know. 
I regret saying that. I also remember like before Game Boy came out. Zombie number one is going down right here. Oh, I see an apple. Might as well protect the dome. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's good. I mean, it doesn't literally look good, but it looks like I can eat it. Yep, dried. I always double check. And we got that cat food. I mean, phase one is obviously get our food and water supply in a decent place. Uh, and then I want to head north. I want to go to that. I love that military base way in the north. Kind of north rim on the west. Uh, I want to say Kamenka. I don't know if that's the name of it. I don't have my map in front of me. But that's where I want to get like my body armor. And start to get that stuff for prolonged survival. Get a, a rifle. At least it's good for hunting. Maybe an SKS. Something like that. Uh, and then start kind of hunkering down. Trail shoes. Those are in good shape. My wellies are in good shape though. Worn, these look pristine. Pristine we go. Yes, dude, looking good. Blue on blue on blue. More rags, that's good, but I need this blade for food. What is it at? It looks badly damaged. Damaged. <sighs> See if I can just take this. How much space? Nine spaces. I'll try to cut it up later, but we need a chicken. Get some bones. I don't hear any chickens. Hear some birds. I'm not sure when the routine of releasing these will be. I think... Ooh, a baseball bat. I think this week it'll be a Monday. And episode two I'm going to plan for Thursday. Let's see if we can stick to that plan. But you let me know. Do you want these once a week? Twice a week? They're going to be close to an hour long each. And like I said, I love this Daisy, the concept of a girl named Daisy in the game Daisy. We put her through some, oh, this is good right here. That's good. Um, so I really want to keep her alive. Easier said than done. But low pop official server. So hopefully we can live a long, long time. Here, go from zero to hero. Ooh, rice. We'll eat that now. I always eat rice straight away because, uh, some blood blasted here because it takes up six spaces. Should eat that cat food too while I'm all on white. I think I can get away with it. I don't think it'll make me sick. I think it can make you sick, right? Let me know if you, like, are on yellow or, or red and you just eat a lot of it. We're not going to eat a lot of it now, though. We'll kind of parcel it out. I'm trying to remember where the well is. Going off memory. Might be worth hitting, um... Let's see if these guys have backpacks. Dang it. I'm going to have to juke him. Because I don't want to ruin my apple. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Okay, don't panic. Hit the fire station, get an axe if possible. That would be cool. But yeah, I remember my, my the the console that I really Atari. I was pretty young. We did get a Nintendo Entertainment System. You know, Mario Brothers. I remember playing Contra. I think there's a game called Double Dragon. Am I right about that? Um, one where you eat. You're like a Street Fighter. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. We are Audi. What kind of car you drive, Daisy? She drives an Audi. I'm gonna have to go mic on, hope he doesn't kill me. I'm trying to get my stamina back up. That guy was charging at me pretty good. Definitely want to get hiding. I feel like he's going to find me, though. Hope he gets tangled up with some zombies. It's 
Sorry guys, story time got cut short today. Is he smart enough to come up here and meet me? That would be impressive. Like had he cut up there, that would have been impressive. It still might be impressive if he kills me. Day one of my quiet daisy life. Dang it, man. I thought I'd have a chill day. On a low pop server. Now normally, like in daisy therapy, if this was a daisy therapy series, the difference between this quiet daisy life and daisy therapy is I 100 times out of 100 would have gone up to that guy and said like, hi survivor, how are you today? <laughs> or just if he looked nasty, McBlasty, I would just, if I had a gun, I'd go to work and, and hope to win. I don't win that many gunfights though. But he didn't have a gun in his hand to his defense. I mean, what, what can I say? He saw a pretty gal in the apocalypse, you know, with uh, an armband and a bicycle helmet. So I just wanted to say, what's up? What do the kids say? Like, riz up? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know. 15 minutes into my quiet daisy life, and we're already seeing somebody. I was going to go over to that fire station, but now I'm spooked out, and I'm cold. Trying to think where this is gonna spit me out. Hmm. Solnichi? The highway to Solnichi, maybe? Yeah, what was that game? Okay, so you're, you're a street fighter, and I thought you could play two-player. I mean, Contra was the ultimate, right? Um, up, okay. Up, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, select start for infinite lives at the opening menu. Something like that. If you played that game, let me know. Um, there was a game that I liked, and you're on like a city street. Obviously, it's like side view, low graphics, and you punch... I think you can get nunchucks, and then when your health is low, you eat egg rolls, and you buy the egg rolls. Like, when you beat somebody up, they drop coins. I want to say it was called Double Dragon, but I'm not sure. Did I ever get to finish eating my fruit? I did. Eat some more cat food. And then I remember before Game Boy, at least before I owned a Game Boy, they had these single game designs, you know, where you get, it has like a few buttons on it. Like I'd always have the baseball ones. And it's like a little, obviously black and white screen, tiny. And you play like baseball, like a throw button and a swing button. I don't remember all the details, but I used to love those. I still have core memories of sitting in like fourth grade class on a freezing cold New York day. Um, slush, you know, on the shoes from walking in and getting into class a little early and it was warm, the heater was on and I'd just gotten a new little handheld game a baseball one and it was bigger than all the others and it was green, like the actual plastic was green and I remember like all my friends crowding around me in the class and like looking over my shoulder and watching me play this game it was amazing <laughs> do you remember those games? it's just one game. You don't have cartridges or anything. It's just, it is the game that it is. And for now, it doesn't really matter where we're going. We just need to not be where we were. we got to find a well. And we're not in any hurry. Like I said, the stages are get the basics, get inland, get established, get um, a rifle, body armor, proper helmet, and then the next stage would be barrels and crates in the woods that we start storing up some base building material. And then someday build a base if we live that long. I'm trying to think where would I escape if I saw someone. Oh great, it's raining. That's yeah, not a great spot to be. The guy threw my plans off.
I really enjoy rain in real life. Let me know if that's you. Thoroughly enjoy the rain. I lived in Washington State for three years and absolutely loved it. I want to get back there someday. I'm in Southern California now. In the desert. It's hot. Sunny. I, I mean, I can't complain. I do like to run a lot and it's good running weather. But I love the rain. The sound right here. Love that. A little spot out there. That might that's a good spot for a quiet daisy life. We'll consider logging off there later. Consider it. I think I was right. This is Solnichi, right? Or is it Kami? I get them flipped around sometimes. Doesn't really matter. This might be Kami, man. Kami's a little more dangerous in my opinion. Let's go check the sign. Yeah, it's Kami, right? The police station there. Doing it, Kami? <laughs> yeah, Kami. Kami Shovo. Don't see any dead zombies in the street, though. That's a good sign. Don't hear any gunshots, also a good sign. Glad we got that cooking pot if we could find an animal. Cooking pan, we can cook quickly. Look at the sky, like the, the colors, like right now it's glowing like sunset. That's pretty awesome. Let's see, uh, medium insulation, low insulation. All right, let's swap it out. I like the other look better. Now we look like a 13 year old skater. Big time with the. Now we skip the Capri pants. With the armband, with the skull and everything. Probably should go fill up water quite quickly here. E, that is tempting to take because then we're one stove top away. We can put this in here. But our inventory is seven slots away from max. Okay, so that's not great. Piece of paper, don't need that. And an animal would be great. Even a chicken. Hey, she got matching hoodies. Ross must have had a sale. Here, we can fill up water. Dude, this is cool, man. Perfect weather for my quiet daisy life. Oh, here, chicken. Let's get it right away. It's not full around. And because then we'll have bones, too. I'm guessing two pieces of meat. Let's see if I'm right. Four. Wrong. Okay. Tempted to drop the sickle. I don't really have much of a choice. I can craft a bone knife. Let's do that right away. And then we can craft fishing hooks. If I find rope and a stick, we can do fishing. We should, I hope I didn't pass on a backpack. Did I miss a backpack somewhere in there? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get in this house and organize. That thunder actually made me nervous. Okay. Some bullets over there. I may have to drop the dress, right? Oh, I should have used the... Don't want to get sick. Let's not risk it. 
I think I'd be okay, but let's not risk it. So this is nine, but we can craft it down into six. Right if we get the rags. Save us a little bit of space, yes. Those could come in handy. Would be good to cook and eat this right away, just to keep it out of our inventory. We got five slots left. I'll take that in case we find like a BK, we can shoot a bigger animal with it. I should have been able to tell by looking at that. It's my bad. Second, I thought it was dried. Yes. Oh, I saw another survivor. Did you see it? I'm pretty sure we saw someone just run into, it might have been a zombie, but someone just ran into that shed right there. I Did you see it? Am I tripping? They ran into that little building right there. My quiet day Z life rule. We live. Did not get to fill my water bottle. It might have been a zombie. I'm tempted to go take a risk. It, it might have been a freshie. I mean, we're okay on water. I guess we can leave to the next town. Trying to see if there's a zombie running in that area. Then we'd know it was a zombie. Oh no, there's a player right there. Let's go say hi. He doesn't look geared. Hello, survivor. Hello. 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 Oh, he's got a gun. Is he going to shoot that guy or not? Yeah, we're out of here. He's got to suppress something. Well, this might be harder than I thought, guys. All it takes is one psychopath jacked up on Mountain Dew. When I thought he didn't have a gun, I was willing to go talk to him. Fill up my water, see if he had anything, if he needed anything. But if he's got a gun, all he's got to do is go kaplink. Everything that I have is now his. Hockey helmet and all. Skater helmet and all. We are moving on. I can't believe he didn't hear me. He might be in a party with friends or something. But I think even then he might be able to hear me now. But we don't need water. I mean, after all, it's falling from the sky on us. I thought that stump was him. Need a little bit more of that cat food. Yeah, and in this series, 
Oh, we gotta name every bat. Now, I've been bad about that in my Daisy Therapy series. I told you guys you could name the bat, but what happened is I got this Series S, and uh, I just recorded, like, Brookie and I recorded, like, ten episodes of Daisy Therapy right away and didn't air them. So by the time you guys named the bat, the character was probably already dead because I'd played so far ahead. This, I vow to you, unless I'm going on a big trip or something, I will not play this series ahead. I will wait read your comments i'll read them at the end of next episode and so name this baseball bat every baseball bat we get we name it until it's gone the one i like the best i'll pick every teddy bear well we're not every we're gonna find a teddy bear that'll be our friend we will name it but don't name it yet names you put in there don't count yet only when we find it because uh, where we find it might factor into the name the color of it might factor into the name who knows who knows uh, and I don't, I don't think the jack-o'-lanterns are on the server anymore, but if we find one, that would be fun to keep. It'd be a pain in the butt to keep it, but it'd be fun to keep. I haven't found a backpack yet. Though Hoodie gave us 20 spaces. It's fun starting with just the hip pack. You get seven, six slots with it. I forgot about the pockets of clothes. I don't know where we are. There's a train track down there, though. good that we're good on food and water we have this chicken we got to cook it where did we end up Okay, we're getting north quick. Yeah, I think we're getting up sort of in the, um, I don't know if we're up close to Willow Lake and that stuff yet. I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Well... Great server selection, buddy. I think that was up that way, right? Stove top would be big time right now. That would be probably my number one wish list. And I could cook without having to start a fire. Those gunshots were ominous. Yeah, if you're enjoying this episode and you, you're newer to the channel, check out the uh, season one or the last couple seasons of Daisy's Challenges. They're fun. You know, you can binge them. Nice little clean playlist. Play them right through. I really think I gotta get off this coast, man. There can't be that many people inland. We've seen two and heard a third. Upgrading. Oh, it's a different color. It looked red on the ground, okay. I guess I haven't picked up enough of these, like, the skirts and stuff. But they're not necessarily the color that they appear. Oh, we're matching now, blue team.
We got a train over there. I actually think I'm going to steer clear of that. Just a gut feeling thing. Just, I think because that, that gunshot we heard was pretty close. And it's a probability that if he was coming down the hill from up there on down, he would be there looting that about now. I can't believe how many miles we've covered here. We're going to find a fishing pole, man. Ha, missed my wellies. Boy, this is miserable weather for this. Nuts. Don't like being way out here in the open, man. Got nowhere to go but the abyss. kind of a long stretch of road, isn't it? We're okay on food and water. We will be good when we can cook. But I don't, I'm not going to start a fire here tonight. No thank you. Yeah, well, a couple little adrenaline jolts with those survivors. That one dude with the handgun there in uh, Cami. I was like, hey, man, how you doing? He's lining up a shot on zombies. I think I was like, I don't think he has a gun. And then we see him pointing a gun. All right, the rain is relenting. And this is day one of what will hopefully be many, many days. But in this game, you never know. And just like that, the rain is over. Oh, we're yellow water. Okay, so we really got to find... Because now we're prone to getting a cold. Which is not good. So we got to find a, a well or something. This, I've been on this stretch of road before when, you know, you're, you don't have anything as a fresh spawn or you have to escape and you're starving. And it's just brutal. There's so long of nothing. Oh, army pouch. So glad I came over here. Nice. Nice. Look at that. We're looking pretty good. I hope that canteen's not ruined. I don't think it is. 
on my hip pack. No, it's damaged. All right. That canteen can hang with us for a long time. I think it's pretty durable. You know what? Maybe we could have a fire now that it's not as dark. Get that chicken cooked. Get our temperature up. Maybe. We'll see. We'd, I would do it in a house. I don't think I would do it. Well, yeah, sitting with, with four pieces of chicken. I'd take a minute with a sharp stick. All right. What's well, coming up? Is it Berezino already? Not yet. Solnici, right? I don't know. Been here before, I know that. There's always a lot of zombies over here. Maybe we... I can't remember how far in... Oh, crap. Two survivors. What the heck? This is not a low-pop server. Oh, and they're gonna fight. That guy wants to fight. That guy wants to fight. He's going in for the fight. There's a lot of zombies. That guy is, is a, a guy who stirs up trouble. Coming at me? Coming at me? What? Seriously? You better drop me a Nauticola. You just had two dudes run by you. Well, I was going to go that way. It looked like that guy was wanting to go fight that other guy, but they could be in cahoots. Meaning friends. For anyone in the younger audience that doesn't know what being in cahoots is. I don't even know if it's worth checking these. Not gonna lie, I thought about going and attacking that guy straight away. They're still pristine, I'll keep them. Man, I need water soon. We've seen four survivors and heard a fifth. That's bonkers, man. That's bonkers. Alright, we're going to mind our own business. I love minding my own business. Goal, get to the well, get some water, hydrate, power down for day one. Dude, I'm thinking I picked the wrong server for a quiet daisy life. Well, I gotta believe inland going to be a lot quieter. But so be it. This is what it is. I told you I'd kind of give you breadcrumbs, so I'll tell you a digit this episode, and if you follow them, I'll kind of tell you the digits as we go. It would be cool. Would I hear another chicken? It would be cool to meet up with people who actually care about this series, not trolls just trying to kill me. So you're going to have to kind of work for it. The last number in the series is four. I'll give you another digit or two next episode. I thought I heard a chicken on this side of the road. Solnichi. No dead zombies in the street that I can see. I think the well is by the medical. Ooh, a glowing glow stick and a bloody mattress. Two glowing glow sticks. Two, what does that mean? Were there two survivors here? Oh man. Oh, there's a chicken. I should um, hotkey this. Did I do it? I did. 
A lot of zombies around. You can hear a couple on the other side of the wall. There's one right there looking at me. Oh, what? What's the bat's name? Oh, nice. See if we can cook, cut this up real quick. I'm gonna have to take this guy out regardless. Warm up. Need to create some space real quick. Ah! So I have room to switch between inventory weapons and stuff. Just want to get to the well, man. Drink from the well. I could eat that pajka. That might give me a little bit of hydration. I'm not even sure what pajka is. If you know, let me know in the comments. Just sneaking around eating some pajka. Yeah, it's give me some hydration. We got a lot of chicken, man. Next episode, chicken cook off. See if there's any fruit. Cold and thirsty. I hear flies. Someone's dead. Yeah, someone's dead in here. Big jacket. How did he die? Pristine peacoat. Quilted jacket. I don't really remember which is better. Uh, best insulation. We'll take it. Okay. Uh, we just got a shotgun. 12. Okay. Let's load the slug. Okay, and I'm going to check that BK-18 is the single shot. Is that a shotgun or is it the 7.62? The 7.62 is damaged. I know I have, well, we'll take it. We'll take it because I have a round for it. Okay. I'm scared. Okay. Now we have an inventory issue. Dang it. Oh, we have this quilted jacket. Why is nothing in there? Let's do that. Okay. Cool. Let's see if we can get some water and get out of town, man. Water and out of town. I wonder if I can saw off that BK. But that's good for hunting bigger animals. And um, sassy people. These could use some pants too. How did that guy die? That's the scary thought. So that's four player encounters, one dead player. And one herd player. That's six. That surprises me. 
Alright, we're gonna get in and out of here. If we weren't on yellow, I might not even do this. I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. I, th I might be thinking of a different city. zombies here. Going by memory, the well's over here somewhere, I think. Yeah, is it right around here? Where's that guy going in a hurry? Look at that sky, it's so cool. I think she saw me. Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Don't just cut. Crossbow would be awesome. You know I love the crossbows. Some new shoes. They're not wet, so I'm going to take them. Start kind of trading out my wet clothes. Uh, bolts. I don't know if I can keep them long enough. I don't have a crossbow. It might be a while. I'm going to drop them. Ooh, saw movement out that window. Hoping it was a zombie. I saw movement out the back door. BK in hand. Have it your way. I'm not even going to loot the um, medical right now. Dang it. Oh, here we go. You know what? We're actually going to sleep under the stars tonight. Nah, we can sleep in a house, can we? Attic house? Yeah, we can sleep in an attic house. Is this an attic house? Yeah. Is this the one where the dead guy is? Nah. Alright, day one. Let me know in the comments your favorite games as a kid. Let me know, um... First console, the name of the bat. That was a fun, quiet daisy life. Not as quiet as I wanted it to be. But once we get off the coast, it'll be a lot quieter. All right, thanks for watching Daisy and Daisy. If you're enjoying the channel, click the join button and become a member. You'll get a lot of exclusive content, State of Decay 2 playthroughs, Daisy therapy sessions, a lot of extra content. Every penny goes towards Brooklyn's education. Also, take a moment, click the link below, check out the merch store. Cool gear, stickers, hoodies, shirts, 
and let's keep gaming straight through the apocalypse.